Hello out there. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day here on the canal. The sun's out. It's in the 50s. Finally, it looks like spring has sprung and it feels really, really good. I'll tell you what, it just feels good to get some vitamin D. Plenty of vitamin D. So today, on this day, I mentioned it in a prior video that along with storing uh, my um, aged urine for uh, skin and all that, that I actually had uh, made this, uh, it's been a couple months now, so today we're going to experiment. Anyway, I heard on a video this woman talking about turning uh, the urine into wine. I thought, well, that's so biblical, you know, turning the water into wine and all that stuff. So I realized that there's lots of references to, you know, calling it water, the urine, and um, the fountain of youth and all that. And I'm not a drinker. I quit drinking uh, a couple of years ago. So uh, it, it'll be a true experiment, but I figured today would be a good day, a happy, sunny, shiny day here to just see what happens. So I'm going to share the entire experience with you because I have not touched this. It's been stored in this container in a, a dark uh, spot in a cabinet. And so I have no idea. And basically what it is, it's a... Um, it's a container of it's a gallon and a it's all it's just urine and uh, cut up organic lemons and that's all that it is. Now this woman explained that you could ferment it and it would turn to wine. And I thought, well, that's kind of curious. And since I had such an excessive amount when I started, that I was. I was consuming a lot of water and urine and uh, distilled water and juices. I was just consuming tons and tons of liquid that I was producing an awful lot as well. So while I was doing that, I uh, made this uh, experiment, this choice. So we're going to do this together, and I wanted to uh, share it with you. So in order to make it appropriate, I did bring a wine glass uh, from the cabinet and I have this container and I don't know where you can see it I'll try to move it back into the camera but it's a gallon and you can see the lemons floating on the top and so we're gonna just give it a whirl and see what happens so here we go So I decided I'd pour like uh, like I was back in the you know the small yay days you know working as a, in restaurants and uh, serving wine and all that stuff. So I slopped a little, so I'll clean that up. But as you can see, we've got like what would be like an appropriate glass of wine. So hmm, lemony. Interesting. All right. Well, here we go. Cheers. Wow. Interesting. Not bad. It's a little lemony. A little fruity. It's got a a certain aromatics smells fresh, smells natural, organic. Wow, not bad. Now, I don't think I'm going to just be guzzling all this down uh, real quick. I think I'll sip and enjoy. So we can uh, find out if uh, it is fermented and it's got any kind of uh, alcoholic content to it. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. 
turning water into wine. What a concept. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is tasty, actually. I'm kind of liking it. Gee, I might have to uh, look at packaging and labeling this. Wow, what a concept. What do you got there? Uh, it's, uh, it's my own special secret recipe. It's an old family recipe. I can't really share it with you, but would you like a glass? Wow. Wow, indeed. I like it. Wow, wow. I may have hit on something here. I may have to start drinking a lot more, uh, a lot more distilled water and uh, urine. I, I may run through this. God knows, I don't want to start buying uh, alcohol again. No, no, no. Not me. I learned. With cigarettes and alcohol, I can never, uh, I just can't have one. It's just not feasible. If I have one, I'll justify another, and I won't do that. So this I've learned. I'm not turning back. No more, no more alcohol. No more cigarettes. But, you know, <laughs> live like Jesus, right? Turn the water into wine. Feed the masses. Bring them good news. Bring them good cheer. So, I think, uh, I don't know if I got anything else to say. Maybe I'll just uh, hang out just a few more minutes and finish my glass since I've joined, you know, I welcome you to join me into this afternoon of wine tasting. We're having a wine tasting today, and it's going to happen from 12 in the afternoon until 1 in the afternoon. And you're welcome to come. Bring ID, because God knows we don't want to get popped for serving the uh, underaged. And this is young. This is only a two months. It's only been aging for two months. So it's a young wine. Yep, yep, yep. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. You know, I have to admit this is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Who would have thunk, right? <laughs> Had I not heard it, I wouldn't have believed it. I wouldn't have tried it. But I figured it was worth a try. So, why not? Okay, I'm going to finish up my little glass of wine and uh, bottoms up. Yep, I think I'm on to something here. I really do. And you know what? You can make wine. You don't even have to have a vineyard. <laughs> you don't have to start all that. You don't have to wait for, you know, 12 years for your vines to ripen or anything. What a deal. What a concept. I know this is far out stuff, but hey, I live for far out. That's, a, that's what weirdos do. That's what artists and poets and musicians and, you know, renaissance type of people do. Far out stuff. And I'll tell you what, this is far out. <laughs> what do you think, Casey? I think it's good. I don't know. What do you think, Weedo? I think it's awesome. I think we're in agreement. We're on to something here. So, cheers. Have a beautiful day, and uh, hey, you might want to try it for yourself. What do you got to lose? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You got nothing to lose. Alrighty then. Peace, love, happiness. Hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day, and boom! You've just been loved. Ha, 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 ha.